Hi, Microbe Hunter here again. I've uh, recently uh, reviewed uh, both uh, of these low cost uh, but still quite good microscopes uh, in two separate videos. And I'm now receiving more and more questions about uh, what the differences are between these two because they cost more or less the same and uh, they indeed uh, appear to be quite similar in many respects. However, there are some uh, important differences and what I wanna do is I wanna talk about these differences to help you a little bit to make a choice. Well, uh, first of all, uh, the microscope here, um, that is one from uh, National Opticals or also from Swift. It's branded a little bit differently in different countries. And uh, this one here is uh, from uh, Telmu. Um, it's uh, basically similar in the sense that, uh, both of them are similar in the sense that they have uh, the same magnifications. Both of them um, are supplied with uh, eyepieces, a 10 times eyepiece and also 25 times eyepieces. Both of them have a coarse uh, and a fine focus knob. Both are LEDs and as a matter of fact, even the illumination system, if you just look at the, this here and here, um, they, they look the same, okay? Um, so there are even many parts uh, that I feel um, are, yeah, are manufactured uh, in the same way. Um, however, there are a few differences and I just want to talk uh, about these differences. First of all, uh, this Telmo microscope um, also has a, a top illumination. There, so there is um, also a lamp uh, from the top. Um, and uh, so you can basically decide which one you want to use. Um, however, the lamp from the top uh, is only really meaningful for the low and for the medium power objective because the high power objective casts a shadow and therefore you cannot use it. Um, not a big uh, deal. Uh, this would not be an, yeah, an that's not an absolute necessity. If you want to use top illumination, you can also use an external lamp. Like I have one over here. Um, I usually use uh, something like this to, to illuminate the specimens from the top. So that is uh, basically one uh, difference, uh, is the illumination system. The second difference is, is that this uh, Telmo microscope here um, is um, also uh, comes along with a um, yeah, mobile phone adapter. Uh, but if you've uh, watched already the video where I reviewed this microscope, I think it's unfortunately only of limited value because the eyepiece that uh, comes along with it, the eye relief is so short that even if I mount it uh, on a microscope like this, um, I will not get a full picture. So if you want to use this, you have to buy yourself a separate eyepiece with a longer eye relief and then you can get the full benefit of this, um, of this uh, mobile phone adapter. Um, otherwise, it is like this now uh, to some of uh, some uh, more differences. The supplied eyepieces um, of the um, of this microscope of the SS one hundred ten, I think uh, they are a little bit better. Um, this is the ten times eyepiece is a full uh, metal eyepiece, while the other one from the Telmo is plastic. That itself would not be so much of a problem, I think, uh, but it is indeed like this that I checked it that uh, uh, these uh, eyepieces here from the Swift uh, National Opticals actually gives you a sharper image all the way to the corners, um, to the borders. Uh, so I think the optical quality therefore is better. And it's also like this that the 25 times eyepieces that come supplied, the one uh, from this microscope here is, um, it also has a wider um, lens in front um, compared to uh, the Telmo microscope. So this means it's um, also a little, little bit easier to actually use these eyepieces because you don't uh, have to go that close. And uh, yeah, so that's a, so optically, um, I think uh, this one is a bit better. Um, the other difference is, is that this one here can be operated not only with battery, if the battery, uh, compartment is on the bottom of course, but you can also have a, a, a power adapter and it comes actually with also a, a power supply. Um, that is another difference, um, the, while this one here can only be operated uh, by battery and there is no um, external power supply. So that's another difference and yet another difference is the following that uh, here, this uh, tube can be rotated. So it depends on how you would like to use uh, the microscope. You can have it like this or you can have it like this. Um, yeah. Might be an advantage or not, uh, it does not really matter. Here uh, it is like this that it is fixed. Uh, you might be able to rotate this around by actually um, yeah, unscrewing it uh, here, here and here. Okay, and then you can, um, I have not tried this really, so um, I'm a little bit hesitant about this, uh, but in any case, it, it has to be locked in place um, and uh, it is fixed. So that's uh, yet another difference. And uh, uh, yet another difference is, and I actually checked by uh, removing uh, the tube here. This microscope has actually the um, a prism in here to redirect the light. So the image goes up here and then it uh, goes uh, across here. And there is a prism here. 
and uh, here we have a, a mirror. Now, uh, who cares? You might say there is a difference. Um, it is like this that this microscope gives you, therefore, because of the mirror, um, an image which is a mirror image. And this means that if you rotate the slide to the left, then the image will rotate to the right. And this is a little bit confusing here. Um, if you have a, a prism here, just like all the other microscopes have, then you will get an upside down image that is totally normal. Um, but uh, if you rotate the slide to the left, then also the image goes to the left. Okay, so this means that, that um, it's a little bit easier to actually manipulate the slide um, using uh, this microscope here. Okay, um, I think I have now summarized um, the, main, uh, the main differences here. Um, the cost is pretty much the same, I would say. Um, there is a, another slight difference, but I would not uh, place too much emphasis on this. This one seems to be a little bit more solidly built because actually what can happen is, is, is um, maybe you can see that, the, I don't know if this, yeah, it's a little bit flexible. It's made of still of metal, but it's, um, yeah, it seems to be a little bit flexible. Also the, the top part here, I don't know if you can see this, um, but by twisting it, it does uh, move around a little bit. Um, I don't know, you, you normally don't apply pressure on it anyway, uh, but in any case, uh, this one gives a slightly more um, solid impression in that sense. Uh, um, all, but from the mass, they're pretty much the same. It's 1.1 kilograms, both of them. Yeah, um, one difference is that here, this, uh, the stage here is made of uh, plastic, okay? Um, while this one here in the Telmo microscope is uh, made actually of, of metal, um, I don't to think that this has a significant difference. I think that's a non-critical part, um, I would say. Um, but uh, yeah, um, I, just to be mentioned, <laughs> but the uh, ironic thing is, is, is that they're so similar. For me, it would be possible probably even to exchange the stages, okay? Because uh, I've actually measured it out and looks, uh, so they look um, almost identical in, in that sense. Also the, the places where the, uh, the holes are for mounting the, uh, the stage, they seem to be identical. So there are many, many similarities here between these uh, two microscopes, okay? So yeah, um, I hope that this kind of answered uh, the questions um, and uh, yeah, um, you can also uh, post your, your links below. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I just wanna say yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, happy microbe hunting as always and bye-bye. And, and